comparison video. Ever since I got my Nano Black Orca Whale, which I'll have the video linked right here, I wanted to do a deep dive of these two kind of um, companies and what they make, because obviously Nano Block is not a um, knockoff Lego company like Leppin and Leppin, you suck. So I'll be covering everything these products have to offer, including the instructions and the packaging, the brick design, set design, and the final price. So let's start off with the packaging. Now this comparison may not seem very fair, but I thought I had to do it anyway. I mean, there is obviously an immense difference in size between these two products, just because obviously they, Lego just makes much bigger products. But aside from the size, NanoBlock um, packagings are bags, similar to the Lego blind bags, which I think is actually pretty cool. Since the bricks are obviously smaller, it's going to be a lot smaller. I also noticed that they put a level of difficulty on the nano blocks, which is pretty cool. And obviously, um, like the visual design is, I think Lego has it better because they obviously have like the thing like in universe or like just like in a picture. This is just showing the thing. Obviously, around back, you're going to find somewhat of the same as Lego. But they do both display the amount of pieces, which is pretty cool. So I obviously think I just have to hand it to Lego for having the better packaging because this, just the boxes they make and everything in the packaging is just really awesome. Sorry Nano, but this just isn't gonna cut it. Oops. As for the instructions though, I do believe Lego outdoes Nano because they just have a book and Nano just has a piece of paper. This is like what you see in like some sort of poly bag, which obviously, technically Nano is kind of like a, like a poly bag. So I can see that, um, see that comparison there but I just think that Lego's um, books are just a lot nicer which I just like them better and also Lego can display the visual design which um, NanoBlock just doesn't make any like design sort of thing as for the instructions and packaging category I'm gonna hand it to Lego they just do a really amazing job with how they present their um, product as for the brick design category I think this one might be a lot closer so I'm just going to say that NanoBlock basically has every piece that Lego has. You can obviously see these hinge pieces right here. And the quality of the bricks is about the same because obviously Lego is going to be high quality. But for NanoBlock, it's surprisingly high quality. Like, this is not going to snap. Like, it's going to take a lot to snap that, which I just really love. They both obviously have clear um, plastic that they can mold pieces in. So for their production quality and their inventory of pieces, I'm going to say they're at a knot right now. But the way the bricks go together is a whole lot different. Obviously with Lego, as you know, the pieces just snap together and you're not gonna move them, like they're stuck together. As for NanoBlock, the pieces just slide together because like, there's just no dividers in the interior of the piece, so the pieces can just like slide throughout the whole thing. So you kind of have to manually make sure that everyone is like in the correct position, which can be a downside for kids because they'll just be like, oh, yay, put that right there. And it's like not even like it's like sliding all over the place. That does sometimes happen with Lego bricks, but with this, it's a lot more obvious. So I think I really do like the snap together version of bricks, but I do think the um, sliding part can be useful for adults who are going to pay like a lot more attention to where their pieces are going to go because they're obviously just going to pay a lot more attention and be more careful. And I really think that the nano blocks are really geared more towards adults. So that is probably a trend that will start to come out in this comparison that nano blocks might be a little more for adults and Legos are obviously a little more for kids. But one major thing I wanted to point out is that the ratio between um, the bricks that are actually supposed to be in the set and the bricks that are like extra pieces is a lot different. Lego usually gives you a small amount of small extra pieces, like nothing big. It's just like you just get a little few pieces in case you lose them. But for NanoBlock, they include one of every piece in every set. So like if you it came with um, one of these, you're going to get an extra one of those, an extra one of these pieces extra one of those so like if they all came in the set you're going to get an extra one of every single one so just, there's a lot more extra pieces in nano block which is now going to be a lot better for kids who want to build more things with their pieces because they're going to have like a quarter more of the pieces that they usually would have well in lego you're only getting like less than one percent i obviously don't know the exact percentage but that's just a guess i'm making so to sum it up, I think NanoBlog might have a little bit better design of bricks. Obviously, they're going to be a lot smaller, which is going to be tougher for kids. But I definitely think NanoBlog could really appeal to some adults who want to have like very exact and very professional looking pieces. 
So in this one, I'm going to say that if you're looking for a brick design, I'm going to say Nano Block is for adults, Lego is for children. Okay, now on to our third category between these two companies, which is going to be overall set design. Obviously, one major factor that Lego has over Nano Block is they have the ability to make minifigures. This is obviously a huge plus because now you can have like people and like characters go into their sets. Obviously, if Nano Block tried to make that, they would just be way too small to like even like play with, and it would just be like worthless. So, if you want to get cool figures and not just brick built things, I would definitely say Lego. And while Lego can make cool designs for like stickers and prints for minifigures, they also do make you put on stickers, which can be a little bit of a hassle. You can always just leave them off, but with Nano Block, you won't have to deal with that, and you can just build it how they say. Lego also has just immense size because they can charge $800 for a set. Obviously, this one's not $800, but they can do that if they want to. If Nanoblock did that, they must be out of their mind. But Nanoblock does have a really fun way of going together. Lego also does too, so that's kind of a toss-up. So I'm going to say for overall set design, I'm going to give it to Lego. Just because they have the ability to make really cool prints for minifigures and new molds, while Nanoblock really doesn't have that, um, that, um, um, budget to make that sort of thing. So that will give Lego three points and Nano Block one. Now the fourth and last category we have to go over is price. You can obviously tell that Lego is going to be a lot more expensive than that thing right there. So just right off the bat I'm going to tell you, you want to get something cheap, go with Nano Block. You also have to consider you won't get licensed themes with Nano Block like Marvel or Star Wars. Well, Lego has gone the extra mile and will always do that to get themes to like make like things like Star Wars and Marvel. So, unfortun so unfortunately, if you want a narrow block Star Wars or Marvel or Minecraft or whatever else licensed themes are out there, you're just not going to get it. And licenses also jack up the price. And it does take a lot more money to pay a designer to design this than to design that. So all these factors will jack up the price of Lego sets. They also have to pay visual designers to make the covers of boxes and everything else that goes into the box. They also have to pay designers to make the prints on pretty much everything and design the stickers. And while some people say that Lego is overpriced, it's really not. They just have to pay for a load of things to get the products that you want. And Nanoblock basically produces little animals that you can like display wherever you want. Also, I thought like maybe you could put Nanoblocks into any Lego cities you will have. Like you might be able to put this into like an aquarium or something. I don't know. It was just a thought I have. And no, Nanoblock isn't compatible with Lego. Though some companies say it is compatible with Lego, don't believe that, because only things that Lego makes are compatible with what they make. So just for downright pure price, I'm going to say that Nanoblock gets this one. Just because this thing is not that hard to produce. And Lego is just really expensive these days. And that will about sum up all the categories I've made, so now we can just finish up this video. So in conclusion, I'm going to say that Lego makes a really good product, but I also think that Nanoblocks make a really good product too. And the biggest deciding factor in this is going to be just which one is more popular. Obviously, a lot of people know what Lego is like. Oh, you're going to get that kid um, a Lego set for his birthday? Yeah, lots of people know what that is, but you're going to say like, you're going to get that kid a Nanoblock set for their birthday? Like, like what's Nanoblock? Like, it's just not as popular. And many small Lego-like companies like Nanoblock or might have a hard time getting bigger and more popular because Lego is just so enormous and they basically have a monopoly on it. So what I'm going to say is if you want to get licensed themes like Marvel and Star Wars, definitely just go with Lego because that's never going to happen with Nanoblock. I can assure you with that. Now, if you want to save some money, not get something so big like this, and also get something pretty cool that's not licensed, definitely go with Nanoblock. Now you will get some intricate enjoyment out of putting nano blocks together, obviously because they're so small, which can be very enjoyable for some people. Other people might just want to stick with some easy, or at least more easy stuff with smaller Lego sets. So if you have been buying Lego for a long time and you might want to try something new, I would recommend going and trying out Nanobot because they make really good products and you're not going to have to spend like $15,000. You don't need to spend $15,000 on Lego. It was a joke. So yeah, I can definitely recommend Nanobot, and I can also recommend Lego. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison if you actually wanted to figure out which one you're going to get, or if you were just watching it for fun, then I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and get the algorithm going in YouTube. Also subscribe a little bit down below that. Make sure it is great.